Hi, welcome to today's On This Day in Tudor History with me, Claire Ridgeway. And we're still in the year 1532 today, but is it going to be good or is it going to be bad? Well, this day in Tudor history, Monday the 28th of October 1532, the Feast of St. Simon and St. Jude was the last full day of Henry VIII and Anne Boleyn's time with King Francis I of France in Calais. Now, on that day, King Henry VIII held a chapter of the Order of the Garter in the presence of King Francis I, who was described as wearing the blue mantle of the order. At this meeting, two new knights were elected to the order, Frenchman Anne, Duc de Montmorency, who was Grand Master of France, and Philippe de Chabot, who was Admiral of France. Chronicler Edward Hall writes of how the collars and garters were delivered to them, for the which they rendered to the king great thanks. Francis I had elected two English noblemen, Thomas Howard, Duke of Norfolk, and Charles Brandon, Duke of Suffolk, to the French Order of Saint Michel on the 25th of October. So Henry VIII was reciprocating on this day by giving uh, two Frenchmen, you know, the honours of the Order of the Garter. After this ceremony, there was, of course, you know, time for celebration. The Tudors knew how to party. There was entertainment, including bear baiting. Oh, horrible. And a wrestling match. Now, at this wrestling match, um, the English Cornish wrestlers, who were provided by Sir William Godolphin, Godolphin uh, beat the French side. Ah, uh, yay the English. The Manor of the Triumph of Calais and Boulogne, a contemporary pamphlet, recorded this match. And that day, there was a great wrestling between Englishmen and Frenchmen before both the kings. The French king had none but priests that wrestled, which were big men and strong. They were brethren, but they had most falls. Sir William Godolphin had written to Thomas Cromwell um, a few months earlier in June 1532, stating that he'd had a match of wrestling to discover the best. Um, if the king wishes me to serve him in this journey, I will bring him six or eight than whom there are no better. And he was right. The men he'd chosen managed to beat the French soundly. So William Godolphin had done well with his Cornish wrestlers. In 1532, Henry VIII refrained from challenging uh, Francis I to a wrestling match, something that he had, of course, done at the 1520 Field of Cloth of Gold, where Francis I had beaten him. Uh, Henry obviously didn't want a repeat of that humiliation and perhaps uh, he really didn't want that humiliation in front of his sweetheart Anne Boleyn, I don't know. But the English Cornish wrestlers beat the Frenchman this time. By the way, I mentioned that the 28th of October marked the feast of St. Simon and St. Jude, so let me just tell you a bit about this. These men were the Apostle Simon the Zealot, also known as Simon the Canaanite, and Jude the Apostle, also known as Thaddeus or Judas the Deus, not to be confused with Judas Iscariot. This feast day, the Feast of St. Simon and St. Jude, was known as the day that the autumnal rains often began, uh, ending the fair weather that was associated with St. Luke's Day on the 18th of October, so time for the autumn rains to begin. Just another bit of trivia, St. Simon is the patron saint of Tanners, and St. Jude is, of course, the patron saint of Hope, and hopeless or desperate causes or cases. 
Thank you for joining me today. I do hope you're enjoying uh, this insight into uh, the Tudor period with me bringing you these events from the times of the Tudor monarchs. You can subscribe to this channel by clicking around about there and please do subscribe. Um, you can like this video if you've enjoyed it. Uh, you can hit the bell to be notified as videos go live but at the moment they do go live on a daily basis and I think you might have convinced me to carry on next year as well with some on this day in Tudor history events there are so many events I could keep going for, for years uh -oh. what am I promising see you tomorrow take care bye bye